When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Tuesday, June 11th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Michael LaFlex will serve life in prison without the possibility of parole for the murder of his daughter's boyfriend. LaFlex was found guilty earlier this year of murdering Bryce Brogel in October 2022 at a storage facility in Mission Township. Four people read victim impact statements at LaFlex's sentencing hearing yesterday. Brogel's mother, sister, aunt, and grandfather gave statements. County Attorney Don Ryan then asked the court to sentence LaFlex to life in prison without the possibility of release due to the heinous nature of the crime. LaFlex made no statements of his own. Reporter Tim Spire has the full story and victim impact statements from loved ones in his story in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. District leaders at Brainerd Public Schools vow to ramp up their American Indian education efforts. They plan to tackle issues like recruitment strategies, culturally specific student support, and the further development of an American Indian curriculum. The school board issued a response during their meeting last night to a vote of non-concurrence from the district's American Indian Parent Advisory Committee. That vote signifies the district is not aligned with state requirements for American Indian education. Read up on what the district plans to do in my story in today's Dispatch e-edition or online. The Pequot Lake City Council took steps last week to make way for development along Highway 371 and County Road 11. Council members agreed to rezone a parcel of land from forest management to commercial, The change clears the path for a quick-trip gas station, along with a hotel and two medical facilities. Echo Journal editor Nancy Vogt has more on the development in today's e-edition. A Pequot Lake senior has learned to turn past family trauma into a driving force for his own improvement. Maverick McMonagall and his family suffered a massive blow when they lost his sister Maddie to suicide in 2014, when she was just 14. It was an experience he said took a lot of work to come to terms with. For his work on bettering himself after the loss, McMonagall was recognized as a Sourcewell student of character during a banquet in April. He earned a scholarship and a gift card. Check out the full story on McMonagall's work in Echo Journal reporter Tom Frackey's story in today's Dispatch e-edition. Do you have a favorite local restaurant, bakery, golf course, newspaper, home builder, resort, or nonprofit? The list goes on and on. If so, help the Dispatch recognize the best of the best, by nominating them for the 2024 Best of the Brainerd Lakes Awards. Visit BrainerdDispatch.com slash Best of Brainerd Lakes to make nominations through June 16th. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 20 years ago today, in 2004, the Dispatch reported that the bloodhound that made a name for itself in the searches for both Drew Shadeen and Erica Dahlquist has died. Calamity Jane's handler said the dog was just worn out. In the case of Dahlquist, the dog had bolted from its handler. When it was found, it was lying next to Dahlquist's remains. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. This weather forecast for the Brainerd Lakes region for today. Rain showers, possibly a thunderstorm likely this morning, then just a slight chance through the afternoon. Temperatures warming into the upper 70s this afternoon with south winds switching west around 10 to 20 miles an hour. For tonight, clearing off with temps dropping down into the low to mid 50s. And then for Wednesday, a slight chance of showers and thunder showers again by afternoon with a better chance Wednesday evening or Wednesday night. High on Wednesday in the mid 80s. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist John Wheeler. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, 
And for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.